Uh, it's sort of like this. Uh, someone goes into your house, takes your wife and children hostage, and then says, let's negotiate over the price of your house. You know, we could do the same thing on immigration. We, could, we believe strongly in immigration reform. We could say we're shutting down the government. We're not going to raise the debt ceiling until you pass immigration but, reform. It would be governmental chaos. I certainly hope there is not a government shutdown. Government shutdown would be a disaster for this country. Shame on any of us. We sit here and say, okay, we're going to let it run out for the sake of politics and shut the government down. None of us should be sitting there. None of us even should be representing the good states that we represent, such as West Virginia and Colorado and Arkansas, if we allow that to happen. There's no sense for that to happen. We're shutting down the government if DACA, if a DACA compromise doesn't happen. I, I, Chuck, I hope it doesn't come to that. I think that uh, politicians but it is worth in it. Washington... It is potentially worth it. We, we, it should not come to that. We should stop shutting this government down. Senator Durbin, are Democrats willing to shut down the government on Friday over this DACA deal? I didn't uh, run for the Senate to shut down the government. But I will tell you something, we need to do that uh, DACA, the DREAM Act, this week.